Good morning. It's Bill, the Knee Pain Guru. Today we're going to talk about uh, knee range of motion and three great questions around difficulty with range of motion when skiing and running. I got an email from Jackie over the weekend, and she had uh, she having challenges when she challenges when she skis. She can't get full range of motion in the knee, has problems when she runs, but only those two areas. So this is going to be a good one. Um, Jackie writes, I had a skiing accident in January of 2016. I've come a long way. Why can't I fully bend my right knee? I just don't understand why or if it's even possible. I have had follow-up appointments with my surgeon, and all I get to do is squats. I do squats. I can do spinning. Uh, I can take long walks and play doubles tennis. I just can't seem to run one to two miles or fully engage my quad muscles. Is this as good as it gets? I feel like my doctor won't answer this question. Right knee had an ACL repair, MCL repair, and meniscus tear that was cut, cleaned, and not stitched. This was Jackie. So we have an issue with range of motion in the knee. Um, doctor not giving answers, like why is the doctor not giving answers? We, we have some really good things to dig into in this email. Uh, why can't I fully bend the right knee? Primarily because the knee doesn't feel safe. It's had a trauma. Uh, injury, surgery, issues with the knee that causes the knee to tense up to protect itself. Normal natural response to Injury, accident, surgery, trauma, stress, and tension that builds up over time. So what ends up happening is the body tenses up. And it doesn't want to go in that range of motion. It's a hard wiring. It's a hard wiring of our body. That's why it does this. So what ends up happening is as the body tenses up to protect itself, you think of it like driving with your foot on the gas and your foot on the brake at the same time. So why she can't fully bend her right knee is because of this tension that's stuck in the nervous system, in her neurology. Um, is it even possible to fully bend the right knee? No, if Jack continues doing what she's been doing. Why? Because you could only, like Einstein said, you could only get, <laughs> you can only in order to solve a problem, you have to go above the level that the problem was created. So the problem was created on a physical level. The doctors and physical therapists are coming from a physical level to address what's going on in Jackie's knee. We have to come above that level, which is from a neurological perspective. And to the doctor's defense, why the doctor is not giving an answer? Because it's not their area of expertise. This is not what they do. Like all the problems that Jackie is looking to solve will not be solved going to see a medical doctor. There's nothing broken or torn in the knee. We're talking about something, a problem that cannot be seen on x-ray, a CT scan, or an MRI. That's what it is. It's not the doctor's fault. It's not really anybody's fault. It's just it falls in a blind spot. And the default thinking, the default mentality is you're going to go to the doctor and they're going to have the answer. And they're not. The answer lies within your own neurology, your own nervous system. When we start understanding how it works, how your hardwiring is, the technology that you were born with, we understand the key on how to unlock, unlock that, and you'll get full flexion of the knee, full extension of the knee. You'll be able to run. You'll be able to see all without problems. So is it fully possible to bend the right knee? No, if you continue doing what you're doing. Yes, if you understand the neurology on a deeper level, which you get through creating comfort. Comfort in the knee. Comfort in the body that engages the self-corrective reflexes of the body and allows the body to let go of the tension that it's holding on to.
Um, so Jackie's next question, is this as good as it gets? Yes. If you continue doing what you're doing, no. If you begin creating comfort where the body feels safe, supported, listened to, it relaxes, it lets go, it creates space. When it creates space in the joint, range of motion begins to increase pretty immediately. Um, and why learn comfort? Like why? So you don't have to suffer. So you don't have to fight. It's, it's the other half of the equation. Right now, to this point, suck it up. Push through the pain. Pain is weakness leaving the body. That's the mentality. And it's only going to get you so far. And in order to get further, you have to let go of that mentality that creates the tension in the nervous system, that prevents the body from getting the full range of motion in the... Um, that's what I got. That's answering Jackie's question. If you like this information, give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe my channel, The Knee Pain Guru. Um, as well as you can head over to the kneepainguru.com and take the seven day knee pain reduction challenge. Uh, that will get you on the path to begin to teach you how to get the pressure off the nerves, get relief in your knee, and begin to experience the technology that is hardwired in your body you've not been given the instruction manual as to how to work and that's what the program is there to teach you begin to teach you how to do hello ann how are you good to see you on the call okay that's what i have to, to for today um submit your questions below once again give this video a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel the knee pain guru you can uh, leave questions below if you want. Head over to the Knee Pain Guru and take the seven-day knee pain reduction challenge. Or if you're watching this from um, my newsletter, head over to this side of the page, sign up um, for my program. That will benefit you, take you to that next step to begin to get relief in your knee, I'll walk you through that process on how to um, get the pressure off of the nerve, set up the conditions in your body so your body can heal your knee and so you can stop um, struggling, struggling in the process. This is Bill Paravano, the Knee Pain Guru, going to sign off for today. Thank you so much, and I will see you on tomorrow's video.